Okay guys, so today's product review is another product from Tenzi's professional detailing range. Uh, this time uh, product is called PC1, but I'll explain all that um, in a minute. Um, another reason to doing this review is introduce a few um, new sort of products um, that have been set, um, but also to sort of differ uh, differentiate between this side and this side. That's their sort of home use, um, sort of uh, more commercial side and this side is their pro detailing range aimed at the uh, professional detailers. So, um, quite a few people have messaged me um, asking what's the difference. So this is my interpretation, okay? One isn't necessarily better than the other, indeed it's not, okay? Arguably, um, a home user could use professional detailing range, and conversely, I know professional detailers that use the sort of commercial range, all right? So there, it's not a question of uh, saving the best for the professionals, okay? It's nothing to do with that, okay? It's to do with protecting the brand uh, sort of image and also, uh, more importantly, perfect, uh, sort of protecting you as a consumer. So what do I mean by that? Right, a lot of the products in this sort of home use commercial range have got a lot of sort of flex and they're very forgiving. For example, the quartz coat ceramic coating, and um, we applied outside in a range of temperatures, okay, and it sort of worked. But if you sort of went onto the sort of more professional ceramic coatings that Tenzi do, that tolerance, that margin for error grows less, all right? And that's the main sort of difference between the two. And for example, you've got bleeding ring rim on the sort of more commercial side, and you've got pre, which is their pro detailing bleeding um, rim um, product on the, on the professional side. So um, that you'll find a lot of uh, the products in the commercial side. Again, you'll find the pro detailing side, but the pro detailing side and um, products are a bit more potent. Okay, they're a bit more aggressive because a professional detailer wants sort of um, quickness and efficiency as, as really to enhance their business really at the end of the day. So as a result, these products here, okay, require a bit more skill, a bit more awareness indoors 18 to 22 degrees and all that kind of stuff whereby the sort of commercial side okay is aimed okay or when they were designed the, the, the Tenzi had that realization that it's going to be um, sort of less experienced potentially detailers using it so their products have to be a bit more forgiving so it's protecting Tenzi because they don't want sort of amateurs um, or inexperienced detailers using this stuff getting it wrong and saying well that, that product didn't work okay Conversely, okay, it's protecting you as a customer because if you don't quite get it right with the Pro Series, all right, you're not going to get what you want and you're not going to get what you deem as value. Okay, so that's the main difference. I use a mixture of the two, all right, um, but I really, really like this Pro Detailing range. Okay, like I sort of alluded to earlier, super potent, super quick, super efficiency. Okay, and you'll find in, in quite a lot of the Pro Detailing products, um, they're a bit more potent, i.e., the Pro Detailing ceramic range. Um, is considerably stronger than the quartz coat that I used on Joe's car. Okay, so um, well, the one we're going to look at whoop, is PC1. All right, so um, there's lots and lots of stuff, okay, that tends to target at ceramic coated cars, the aftercare piece, but arguably all the stuff I'm going to talk about you could use on a non ceramic car. All right, for example, um, Tenzi's SLS, I quite um, often use it on a car that hasn't got ceramic coating, all right, and it gives a fantastic result. So the sort of stuff we're looking at here are, are sort of um, called ceramic reloaders. So um, they're sort of targeted at a top up or aftercare for a car that's already had a ceramic coating. So the stuff in their range you're looking at is SLS, which is their sort of commercial ceramic reloader. They've got the professional version of the SLS, which is the RLS, all right, which again is a ceramic quartz reloader. But the one we're going to be looking at is this one, okay, the PC1, because it's a bit different, all right. Yes, it's a ceramic reloader, but it's got a few other goodies in there as well. It's got your SiO2, um, which is that ceramic topper. It's also got Knorbel wax, and it's also got PTFE. All right, so this stuff should make Joe's car, all right, the car we're going to be using it on, because Joe's car's been left for two weeks to let the ceramic fully harden, so we're at a point now where we can wash it again and, and, and test this PC1. But the fact it's got PTFE, which I'm um, not going to get geeky, um, essentially it's got a low friction, co friction coefficient, which essentially means it repels stuff. So PTFE, a sort of commercial brand name would be Teflon, okay, those non-stick surfaces. The whole idea, I presume, of putting PTFE in PC1 is to make it super, super hydrophobic. All right, so I'm going to apply it to the SEAT, and what I'm doing, I'm going to leave half the bonnet um, just with the ceramic coating on that we put on two weeks ago, but the other half, I'm going to apply some PC1 and see if indeed it does enhance those hydrophobic properties. All right, so it'll be interesting to know. So this one's a bit different to your normal ceramic reloader product. Yes, it's going to do that function, but it's also got some other goodies in there, 
all right, to really enhance what the product does. So I'm really, really intrigued to see how good this stuff is. All right. So as always, okay, if you've got any comments, feel free to post them below. Um, I'm just going to use this opportunity to look at a couple of other things that Tenzi sent me. And um, I sent me these, these really, really nice um, Tenzi sort of uh, brushes and detailing brushes. And you've got to look at these. All right, these are super, super high quality. Uh, Tenzi um, logo embossed. Okay, they've got a metal but rounded edges on the top. So really, really nice and strong and super, super um, sort of uh, soft fibers in the um, brush head. So I'm going to be using this when I give the car a quick clean. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a snow foam, um, agitate this uh, and any um, sort of dirt that is on the car, but there shouldn't be any because it's been uh, left quite um, uh, sort of secluded for the last two weeks. There shouldn't be too much there. If I need to do a shampoo, I will, but I'm not planning to. Um, and I'm going to try these brushes out as well. And also, i um, just released um, a new range of air fresheners. There's three or four in the range, and I've got G, uh, 625 HP. So, this is where I try to look like a connoisseur. Citrus, I'm getting essence of lemon and lime coming through, but not sickly, all right, really, really good. I tested the new Carsonal version of this, all right, but I think there's three or four in a product range. So um, if you're into your air freshness that, set, that smell nice and fresh but not sickly, you might want to consider these. Um, loving this stuff, and you know I like a good air freshener. So, if you've got any um, questions on um, the Tenzi products, please um, please feel free to PM me or leave a message. Um, I'm going to be working through the other ones in good, um, in good time. I'm going to have a look at the RLS, um, and what I'll do is I've already posted um, sort of reviews on stuff like the SLS, so I'll go through the Facebook channel and post lots of links there to give you a bit more padding to this review. So, let's get outside, let's wash um, Joe's car down, and let's see how effective this PC1 is. So, exciting times. So this is the project car we're going to be testing the product on and although it's been left for two weeks it has generated a bit of dirt so we're going to rinse it, snow foam it and then we're going to use the Tenzi Quartz Shampoo which is sort of aimed at aftercare for ceramic coated cars but equally as good on non ceramic coated cars and it's the shampoo that doesn't froth a bit so I will sort of uh, energise that with the jet washer in a minute okay but it's, it's a different experience because you usually imagine lots and lots of suds. It does sud a little bit, but you'll see in the Time Warp video that it doesn't really uh, foam up uh, very well. But it's not intended to, and it's very, very effective. So we'll rinse it down, snow foam it, wash it, uh, dry it down, and then we'll get on to testing.
So folks, that's the car all washed um, using the Tenzi Quartz Shampoo and combination between the Quartz Coat Ceramic Coat we put on a couple of weeks ago and this ceramic infused shampoo. Before we, we've even put the ceramic reloader on, you can just see the hydrophobic effect. So I'm going to uh, dry this using a dedicated drying towel and then we'll get on to testing. Okay, so another sort of a secondary gainer for ceramic coating is the way it repels dirt but also how easy it is or how it facilitates the drying process. So just to quickly show you. That's it, bone dry. Okay, could have done that with two passes, so sort of the quartz coat and the, the hydrophobic properties of the shampoo just makes drying effortless. So I'm just gonna go around and make sure this car is totally dry. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to testing this product from Tenzi. So we're on to testing this Tenzi Pro Detailing PC1. Now the instructions for use um, seem quite simple. Okay, it says apply with a applicator pad. All right, then buff gently with a microfiber. Okay, and because that will probably get saturated, then use a separate microfiber to do that final buff. Okay, to to the finish. Now it doesn't actually say how long to leave this to sort of cure or bond. Okay, but usually these sort of ceramic infused products are sort of three or four hours to fully harden and then um, sort of keep um, under cover and, and refrain from getting it wet for about 24 hours. Okay, so I'm going to do this half of this bonnet, leave that half untreated, give it a couple of hours, come back, do the water test to see the difference between essentially a ceramic coated side and a ceramic coated side plus the PC1. Okay, and then when I'm happy with those results, I'll uh, finish the rest of the car. Okay, and we'll see how we get on, so uh, let's do this. So guys, that's the uh, that half done, that half not done, and before we even get the hose out, um, this has actually been left for just over two hours, but you can see a definitive line there, just along there, you can see it moving there, that's where the product stopped, and I haven't used product, so it's... Yeah, it's a ceramic reloader, but it also definitely, definitely enhances depth of colour. And that really is quite noticeable. You can see the mark there. Okay, so really, really deepens the colour, gives it that sort of wet look effect that we're all after. So what I'll do is I'll position the camera and we'll do the hydrophobicity test seeing how much difference it made to that side as opposed to just the normal ceramic coated side.
So that's the rest of the card done, okay, and this has been sort of curing for three or four hours. Um, that's the side that we did with the PC1. That's the side that was just ceramic coating, so I'm just going to throw some water and see if there's any difference. You can still see that. I can get it from that side. That line showing this sort of, you can see it, the different depth. Now, I'm not expecting a massive difference on this because you've got to remember this has had two or three coats of, of quartz coat ceramic as well. Okay, but let's just see if there is a difference apart from just that, that deep gloss. I don't think I need to say anything on that side. Okay, there is a slight difference. Okay, that side there does dispel the water, it just takes a bit longer. So if I, if I sh show that side again, it's almost immediate. That side there just takes a bit longer, so... There you go. Definite difference. Yeah. So, that PC1 definitely, definitely must be with that PTFE in. Okay. Expels that water considerably quicker than this side you can see. All those the quartz is still giving excellent beading, left a bit more behind than the PC1, so a well advertised product, it says it gives depth of gloss, which it does, it says it gives enhanced hydrophobicity, it does, okay, fantastic results, really, really happy with this product. Okay folks, so that's that side done. So uh, we haven't got that nasty line down the middle, all right. And for the bodywork, that's this car pretty much finished. Okay, so you have a look at parts one, two, three, and four. The sort of restoration of this car to get it how it's looking now. That's it's all ceramic coated, a reloader applied, and for a 14-year-old car, I think we're just about done. We could chase perfection on this one, but I'm not going to. There is dents in the bodywork, okay, but I am pretty pretty happy with that and the transformation has been good fun and very very rewarding so you've got an engine clean to do but very very impressed so uh, let's go inside and have a wrap up summary the Tenzi Pro Detailing PC1 product. Okay folks, uh, the wrap-up summary, what do I think about uh, this morning's and early afternoon's entertainment? Right, okay. First I'm going to look at the ancillary things that I um, had a look at today. Um, use this brush quickly um, just on when I was uh, doing the sort of snow foam. Um, these, br these brushes are awesome. I haven't got a clue how much they cost. Um, but the best way to describe it is, do you know when you pick up an iPhone, it's not just a functional tool, it's like a pleasure to hold. That's the same feeling I've got with one, uh, one of these. So I'm going to look after these bad boys. Uh, come in at a range of sizes. Okay, so there's a Whopper. One I use, a medium one. Okay, and also the little one. Super, super fine sort of brush on it. I, there's no chance you're going to damage your car with that, but obviously just look after them. Um, because there's they're something you do want to look after. Um, it's, it's a, it's a well-designed product and you want to get your money's worth if you um, buy some of these and I highly recommend you do. Really, really good. The air freshener, um, <coughs> you know I love the air fresheners and okay, and I've got a few of my favourites. I'm going to add this one to it. Um, 625HP, they do two or three other ones as well. Really nice fresh smell. Um, the main thing about this is it atomizes the um, sort of spray and sometimes you get air fresh and it almost squirts a jet of water out. This sort of volumizes it and it sort of mists in the air. Okay, and I spray this right over the sort of centre console just to see if there's any sort of dropping, um, dropping droplets, so to speak, and there's none. So, um, good design package as well, and a really nice um, smell. Um, so, really, really good. <coughs> so, to the main bit. 
the PC1. Am I impressed with it? Yes. Oh, I'm going to backtrack. Cork shampoo. Forgot how good that was. Haven't used that for a few months. Um, I'm going to have to order myself some more because I'm out. Um, really, really good. Um, you could see... It's a weird one because if you see my review, and I'll try and find the review and post it in the comments, but it doesn't sort of um, foam like other shampoos, so it's a bit bizarre. Okay, but that's indicative of its SiO2 uh, content. Um, but it, it does a very, very good job cleaning the car, and when you rinse it off, it gives an in instant hydrophobic enhancement. All right, so in conjunction with the ceramic and the PC1, okay, I was onto a winner. So. I'm going to get some more of that. I'm going to see if they do it in the Pro Range of Compare as well, because I've only used the sort of more commercial one. Okay, so I'm going to order me some of this. Right, back to PC1. What do I think about it? Um, very, very, very nice product indeed. Okay, and I hope the video showed you uh, there was no trickery, and um, I try and be open and honest in all my videos. Okay, because I want to recommend stuff that you'll get the same brilliant effect, um, sort of a, effects as I do. And this is really, really good. Um, I haven't tried the RLS yet, okay, but a sort of little comparison between the SLS and the PC1. Um, the SLS is, is, is a very good product. I find the SLS slightly more grabby, okay, on removal, okay, so that's one difference. Um, but that's not a negative thing, that's just indicative of the product, all right. But the, RS, the PC1, I see the PC1 as SLS on steroids. All right, and that's the best way of describing it. All right, it's easily as slick. Okay, but what I notice about the PC1, it definitely darkened the colour, enhanced the colour, the depth of gloss um, on the paintwork. And the main thing on this one is its hydrophobic effect, how it enhances the hydrophobic effect. Now, given that the car was already ceramic coated, I hope when you did the side by side, you saw this dispelled water definitely quicker, okay, than the, just the normal ceramic coated side. All right, so it is it's enhancing it, taking that hydrophobicity to the next level, which was already pretty good with the quartz coat. All right, so this is a really really nice product. In terms of longevity, I haven't sort of found out yet, but if it's anything like the SLS and that kind of stuff, it's there usually in the RLS. It's usually um, recommended you either um, you sort of um, do it on a three or a six month sort of basis so I'm um, tipping that this is longevity between three and six months if Tenzi UK can drop a comment on the Facebook group and um, as to um, when they recommend redoing this okay but just like um, you'd be using and um, sort of SLS and RLS sort of on a, on a three and a six month or perhaps um, I'm anticipating you'd probably factor the PC1 in, maybe an SLS every so many months and then a PC1, uh, a different sort of frequency, okay? But if Tenzi UK can sort of drop us a comment on our Facebook group, that'd be great. So, really, really good. That's all I've got to say on that one. Um, an open, honest review. Um, really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to start using it, okay? A, for that hydrophobicity, but the, the depth, okay? Um, I did not expect it to make such a difference. It was almost like putting wet ceramic back on it when you automatically got that wet darkening effect. Okay, that's the best way of describing it. So do I recommend you go and get some 100%. If anyone has used the PC1 on a non-ceramic coated car, it'd be interesting to see um, how it got on. I would suggest it's gonna be as equally as effective, or you probably notice more the hydrophobicity, okay, because um, it hasn't got ceramic coated up, uh, on it all, um, already. Okay, but a brilliant range, a brilliant range, and they continue to impress. So thank you very much, Tender UK, for allowing me to test this for you. All right, and uh, I look forward to testing more in the future. I'm going to go to the RLS and look at some other products. Okay, so uh, good times, keep safe, and um, I'm off to clean some more cars now.